go back to two weeks. What kept you awake at night most after the Howard scrimmage? Um, you know, I, I, I knew they were going to have a, a good offense that we were going to, you know, struggle to stop. But I was, I was surprised that we were, um, we were unable to move the football. Mm-hmm. Against them. That, that was the toughest thing for me. Um, from an execution standpoint, we just didn't execute. And then, when did you start during the week? Start playing better. When, 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 what was the first practice that you said, "All right, that's we flushed that. We're ready for this week." All right. Well, we do. A, we'll do our films on Sunday afternoon. And our, our rule basically is once we're done at 5 o'clock on Sunday, that game's over. Right. And we're worried to come back Monday fresh, ready for the mm-hmm. next week. When did the kids get over it? And when, did, when was the good practice, that yeah, first I practice think, I think Monday. Really? I think they, were, um, they came in upbeat on Monday and, and you know, knew they had to work to get better. And what were you better at the most? Was it just offense? I think, I think it was a little bit of both. Defense. 59-59 yeah. um, you know, 59 against, you know, anybody. Um, we won the turnover battle, which was which was big in the first half. Mm-hmm. They had four turnovers in the first half, mm-hmm. which really helped us with those, those that point yeah. difference. Did you do something with those turnovers? We did. Well, yeah. I think we scored on every one of them because um, we only had you know 250 yards of offense total. Wow. But we just you know we were getting the ball back in the red zone. What did you like most from week to week? Was it just mainly the offense? Uh, what I like most is just the kids coming back, ready to um, you know ready to get mm-hmm. ahead. That's, that's the biggest thing, and that they didn't get discouraged from the scrimmage game, and, and they're not too high after this game. Which, right. You know, their heads have got too big or anything like that. We're trying to, you know, we're staying even keel, and I think that's important. And it was the right kind of game to a point to get ready for a team like Dublin because you, you probably needed a little bit of a confidence boost after Howard. It was. It helped. And, and just focus, just getting better. Yep. I wish it would have been a little hotter last Friday <laughs> just to get ready for right. this afternoon game. But right. Other than that, I think it was it was good. What did you see on Dublin that raised your eyebrows the most? They're just huge. They're, <laughs> I mean, they're huge up front. I mean, that, they probably outweigh us by 500 pounds up front. Yeah. Um, and, and they have, they're have they well coached. You know, mm-hmm. Coach Holmes does a good job. And, and they're well coached, and, you know, that, that'll make it tough. What is the biggest X's nose unit, whatever challenge? What is the biggest thing that y'all have to do to? I think I think moving the ball is one because you know they run the wing tee too, so they mm-hmm. see it every day in practice just right. like we do, and um, it's kind of like those games we've had against Stratford the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. We kind of know what each other's doing and figuring out a way to stop it. How different are y'all's wing tees? Because wing tees are a hybrid yeah. anymore. Right, they're. Um, I'd say they're similar. They. Yeah. Um, uh, they're called completely different. I know how coach calls mm-hmm. and stuff, and everything's called completely different. Um, but as far as execution-wise, they're pretty similar. Yeah. 